So, the heavyweight championship of the world will be decided this weekend as Alexander Yusik goes up against uh, Tyson Fury in what should be an absolutely bananas fight. And we will have full fight breakdown as the, uh, the, the week goes on. I, I think the big question for me is which style is implemented and which style ends up winning out. You have, um, you have Fury who is like probably the defining heavyweight of this generation, of what has been a, a phenomenal generation of heavyweights with him, Wilder, Joshua, <coughs> excuse me, all those guys kind of dancing around each other. Fury has been the guy. And to say he is just doing it because he is big, this isn't the Klitschko's. I mean, beat the Klitschko's. Um, th this, is, this is someone who is doing it with the size, but also the skill, the speed, and the technique that was missing from heavyweight boxing for a very long time. He has brought it back and brought it back in a big time way. But none of those things, skill, speed, technique, are close to what Alexander Yusik can bring. And so that is why I'm so intrigued by this bout. Like, you have Yusik who... Like, I know heavyweights don't typically do well pound for pound. He could have these skills at 105 pounds, and he'd be one of the best in the world. That is what pound for pound means to a lot of people. Those skills are transferable up and down the weight classes. He is so talented and so impressive in what he is able to do. But Fury can do it not as well, but still pretty well, and he has the size. So what wins out? Is it the speed and the precision of Usyk, or is it the brute size of Tyson Fury backed up by the, the speed, the power, and all of these things? And if it is Fury this weekend, where does this rank? Like, to, to rank him amongst the great heavyweights of all time does feel not right. Like, he's not Ali, Frazier, all those guys, right? Like, uh, Foreman, uh, Tyson, even. But this would be... Such an impressive win and such a resume defining win to be able to go out and take out a, a guy who is on uh, most people's at least top five, pretty well top four for pound for pound and be able to take that out. Um, that just like absolutely 100% plants the flag at the top of this generation that this was Tyson Fury's time. And it, it was anyway, but it kind of carries into the next one too. If it's you sick, that really like you're already talking about an unbelievable legacy that this guy is leaving behind going from cruiserweight up to heavyweight and um knocking off a couple of the key fighters that ha have defined this era so legacy on the line belts on the line and it, it is such an intriguing fight i cannot wait to watch these two guys get after it on uh saturday morning out here in calgary so that is going to do it uh coming up on the show tomorrow we are going to look at the legacy of Tyson Fury. Um, th there's a lot of turmoil and there's a lot of good and there's a lot of not great in there for, for Tyson Fury. So we will look at that coming up. We're going to look at other boxing fights that are happening um, in the next little while coming up on Thursday. And then Friday will be the full fight breakdown.